VPNs are a must for people who stream content online, people who want to access geolock content like UK or USA Netflix, or just people that want to protect their privacy, especially when accessing public Wi-Fis. The problem is that there are so many different companies and deals, it can be hard for a new VPN user to make a decision on which VPN to actually go with. Luckily for me, the VPN companies offer me free accounts to promote their services, so I've decided to put them to the test and give you guys the answers on which is the fastest or best value VPN right now. And of course, if you want information on a VPN not included in this video, please comment down in the comments below and I'll include it in the next video. But all VPNs included in my tests are available globally. They've all got easy to use applications for all the popular platforms such as Windows, Android, Mac, iOS and Linux. They've all got zero log policies and the links to the services are all in the description below. But when it comes to VPNs, our traffic is being encrypted and running through a VPN server. so we will will expect some minor speed loss, but we don't want too much speed loss of course as we want to get the speeds we pay for, and of course we do also want to get a good deal. My connection speed is currently about 255 megabits per second. I ran each VPN through three speed tests and each one was tested from the same server, which was Virgin Media Bristol. I've got an upload speed of about 20 megabits per second, but I'm going to ignore uploads for these tests as all VPNs scored between 18 to 20 megabits per second, so it wasn't really an issue. So first up we've got my current favourite IP Vanish. In the speed test we had 246.69 for test 1, 250.64 for test 2 and 252.55 in test 3. This was actually the fastest of all the VPNs I tested, coming in with an average download speed of 250 megabits per second, which is actually 98% of my normal connection speed. Next up we've got NordVPN, another favourite of mine, but it doesn't seem to perform as well as IP Vanish for me at the moment, but still came out with reasonable scores. We've got test 1 at 214.37, test 2 at 215.98, and test 3 at 221, giving us an average download speed of 217 megabits per second, which is 85% of my connection. Next we've got Pure VPN, which actually turned out to be much slower with 148.76 for test 1, 142.1 for test 2 and 152.91 for test 3, which was an average speed of 148, giving me only 58% of my connection. It is worth noting though that IP Vanish and NordVPN do own their own infrastructure, whereas Pure VPN and the others use rented servers so it could explain the lower scores. Next up we've got Ibisy VPN, which was actually the slowest of all of the VPNs I tested. Test 1 it scored 110.38, test 2 was 114.87 and test 3 was 105.51, giving me an average score of 110 megabits per second, which is 43% of my connection. Again, Ibisy uses rented servers and they don't own their own infrastructure. Finally, we've got CyberGhost, which scored 114.98 on test 1, 120.77 on test 2, and 115.63 on test 3, giving me an average speed of 117 megabits per second, which is 46% of my connection. Again, CyberGhost rent their servers, but it is worth pointing out that they have better pricing in some instances, making them a suitable choice for people with slower connections. So now we know which perform the best, it's time to deal with the pricing. All companies offer different pricing strategies and the longer you sign up for, the cheaper you get the deal. It's also worth noting that the VPN industry is reasonably dirty in terms of advertising and they often leave each other bad reviews as well as many influencers pay to say certain VPNs are the best. So today we're focusing solely on the facts, so these are based on the prices available today. So for those of you that only want to sign up monthly, the only real option is IP Vanish. It's the fastest in the tests and also the cheapest. Ivacy VPN is actually 5 cents cheaper a month, but you also get less than half of the speed, so it's really not worth that 5 cents saving. IP Vanish also offer a 3 month plan for those who want to save a little more. 
For those who want to sign up for 12 months, I would say there are two real options right now. We've got IP Vanish for those of you with fast connections as it's cheaper than Nord and of course faster in these tests. For those of you that have about 100 megabits per second connections or less, then CyberGhost is probably the best choice as they offer 6 months free giving you 18 months for the price of 12 and it works out much cheaper than Ivacy or PureVPN. For those of you that want to sign up for two years, the best option at the moment for people with faster connections is NordVPN. IP Vanish don't offer a two year plan currently, and Nord works out at a good value. For those of you with slower connections, the obvious choice here is CyberGhost. Both Ivacy and CyberGhost are the cheapest two year plan, but CyberGhost is the better VPN. As I said, the links to all these services are down in the description below for anyone that wants to take a look. They all offer their services globally and have applications available on all platform. I'm hoping this video has helped you enough to make an informed decision on what VPN is right for you, but of course if you're confused about anything or want to know more, simply ask down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as I said, if there's a VPN you want included in the next test, please request that down in the comments as well. But as as always, thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.